Good morning, everyone. Welcome to The Daily Show here on the Gray Main Gaming Channel. Today is Monday, Monday. Monday, yes. Who sings that song? Is that the Mamas and the Papas? Yes, it is. I know it is. I used to do this. I think I've told you this before. I used to do this uh, in college. I used to do a DJ show, or and I just since I qu I'm quite well acquainted with all kinds of music way back until probably the I don't know. I do classical music too. I mean, I know quite a bit about classical music. I once I dated a, a woman who was uh, a clarinet. Is it a clarinetist? A clarinet? She was a the principal clarinet in a symphony uh, in Texas, and. Uh, she moved up to New York for about a year, and you know we have eventually went our own ways. It was uh, it was between uh, it was between marriages and stuff, so uh, you know it was one of those things. And uh, eventually she went her own way, and I went mine, which is okay. You know what? People are like, uh, when it comes to relationships, you have to look at people as kind. Of, I mean, not to. Not to minimize humans, right? But you kind of look at each relationship as a stepping stone to something better, and it always is. It always ends up that way. While you can grieve and you can kind of miss the person that you were once with, or you know, you're, you're really the only thing that you're missing is the memories. Okay, you're not really missing the person because if you split up, the person was probably bad for you. Uh, that's why people split up, unless there's other, you know, other reasons, but. Mainly, uh, when relationships go south, and you ever notice how all bad things go south? <laughs> all bad things go south. I'm sorry, I'm not speaking about the south of the United States. I'm sorry, but um, yeah. So uh, I see it as a stepping stone to the next best thing, and then uh, the quality improves. The quality of your relationships improve. Uh, you've learned something, you've moved on, and you've become a better human being because of the people that you have shared your time with, right? There's a, always a plus side. The negative side, yes, you have breakups and you get mad and you get angry, and but you get over that. You get over that and then you find something that you can be happy about again. And that's the best part about it. So the stepping stone. Anyway, she was a stepping. She was a great stepping stone. She brought me into classical music, which I used to hate, and I have a love for classical music now. She and you know what? You you begin to respect the person more as time goes by because of what they brought to your life instead of what they took away at the end. Uh, what they brought to your life, and if they didn't bring anything to your life, then it's probably better that they're gone anyway. But most people, not all of them. I mean, I've had a few. A few relationships where people, you know, they brought absolutely nothing to the table. They were, you know, really narcissistic and this and that, and they only cared about themselves and blah blah blah. So they don't really bring anything to the, you know, anything to your table. So they're you're, you're better off without those kind of people. But the ones that do, you you kind of cherish them and you hold them in high regard because they offered you something, a part of you that you never had before. And this person, um, her name was um, Rebecca. She uh, she brought that to my life, and it's still a part of my life to this day. And this was years ago. Uh, she brought that, you know, and now I have a huge, or I'm a huge fan of classical music, and I have a great uh, a greater appreciation for classical music. And it's brought so much life um, and love and, uh, and joy into my life because I have that appreciation for... Uh, for classical music so you know here's to you rebecca and i'll always remember that i haven't talked to her in a long time but um uh, she was a she was a great inspiration so there you have it you have to see relationships at, at the end mostly as something positive and then uh like i remember this is gonna be funny you guys probably won't like this story but i remember when uh when about a year after <laughs> i split with my ex-wife and uh and she uh, she got remarried, right? She had uh, she had actually it was one of a uh, person that we knew. Uh, she got remarried to, and and he and I were friends before. Uh, and uh, his wife died, and then I, blah blah blah. My you know it just anyway. My ex-wife ended up with him, and uh, he came to or they had the kids 
for the weekend, and they came to drop them off one time. And I had met this new woman, wonderful woman, beautiful woman, blah, blah, blah. And I'm not going to get into that kind of detail. But um, so I came outside, and like, uh, and I went to meet my ex and her, her new husband, or well, you know, new old whatever husband in the driveway. And my new girlfriend was in the doorway, you know, you know, kind of watching out. And I, and so I walked up to, uh, uh, you know, my husband-in-law, I'll call him my husband-in-law. It's kind of like what uh, George Harrison said about Eric Clapton, my husband-in-law. And I looked back at my new girlfriend and I looked at him and, I, and then, I looked at my ex-wife and I, um, I looked back at him and I said, thank you. Thank you for taking her off my hands <laughs> because my life had improved. You know, Matt, listen, I'm not going to complain about my ex-wife, I'm, but I'm just going to say that my life greatly improved once that, you know, it, but it's hard. Divorce is hard. I'm not going to minimize it. If you've ever went through a divorce, it's hard, but it does get better. It does get better. I know some uh, people right now who are going through a divorce, and I keep on telling him, uh, uh, well, I keep on telling them both, that it gets better. Divorce, uh, it's harder on the kids, right? Because they, you know, they don't know anything about what's going on, but it gets a lot better once you get out on your own and you know you get your freedom back again, and you under, and then when you look back, I mean, years later. As I look back on on my marriage, it's like I see absolutely nothing in common with my ex-wife anymore. I'm like, how? Why did I ever marry this woman? <laughs> but we have three beautiful kids, so I can't complain, right? My kids are awesome. Each and every one of them, they're awesome. So that is that little story for you. I'm sorry to start that off on a Monday. Uh, today is Jedi Mind Trick Monday. Hello there. Today is Jedi Mind Trick Friday. Friday, I meant, not Monday. It's Jedi Fri uh, Jedi Mind Trick Friday, everyone. <laughs> uh, it is also the week of Thanksgiving here in the United States. The The day that we give thanks is coming up on Thursday. There will be no daily show on Thursday, and there will be no daily show on Friday, for I will not be here. Okay, I will be gone. Uh, so there will be no daily show Thursday on Thanksgiving or on Friday. I'll be leaving on Wednesday. So I will have a show on Wednesday, but that'll be it until Saturday. Okay? Um, and maybe we'll do a... I don't know what we'll do on Saturday. I'm kind of... Um, I'll probably be back maybe late Saturday. So, oh no, I'll be back in time for the daily show on Saturday. So maybe I'll be back earlier than I thought. I don't know what I'm going to do. I was considering a live show Saturday, but maybe I'll hold it off because I don't know if I'll have time to get things together. And what is Alexa doing? Alexa, stop! Alexa, stop! I don't know why she goes off randomly. <laughs> I don't know what she said, but Alexa was like, ah, oh, what? Alexa, stop! i got to stop saying her name. <laughs> so yeah, I will not be back... Um, until Saturday. I'll have a daily show on Saturday for sure. Look at all these. I have not been down here in a while. Uh, so Thanksgiving is this week. It's going to be great. Uh, I'm not going to eat a lot because, you know, I have the gallbladder thing. So I have to kind of watch what I eat. Uh, but I will eat very, very, you know, like a bird. <laughs> like a bird. <laughs> all right. We have got questions, comments, and all that fun stuff here on the, oh, I have an article that I actually wanted to read before I um, started. I just saw this article today, and it says, it's by Daily Pause, which P-A-W-S. As shelters exceed capacity, do we need to rethink the types of dogs that we want? Okay, this is an article. Actually, this is kind of an older article. I just saw it, and it's like a few months old. It says, animal shelters around the country have reached a point of crisis. Many caring for so many animals that euthanasia rates are threatening to increase. And they have. They have increased. But Americans are still buying dogs from breeders. Please stop that. Please stop. They're making money off of you. That encourages them to keep on breeding and breeding and breeding. Oh, I made $600 on this person. Uh, okay, we're going to have another litter. That's you know You're punishing animals. And you, while these people are profiting off of you, when there's plenty of animals that are in shelters waiting 
for homes. If you buy a dog, please do not buy a dog. Please don't. Okay? You don't need to. There are so many animals that are in shelters that need homes. But anyway. Uh, but Americans are still buying dogs from breeders and even puppy mills. That's horrendous. As other dogs languish in shelters. According to the American Pet Products Association's 2021-22 survey, 21% of dog-owning respondents bought their pup from a breeder. Another 9% purchased theirs from pet stores. So that right there is almost, that's uh, 30%. So do we need to set aside breed and appearance and reconsider what we want to bring home in a new dog? Uh, it says that, um, speaking to the Daily Pause, animal shelter officials and animal welfare experts offered two general answers to the question. Yes, prospective dog owners should look for a dog at their local shelter first. That way they can adopt a dog who matches their personality and lifestyle regardless of their breeds or appearances. Uh, also, people want what they want, whether that's a certain breed or size dog, but you can find purebred dogs at shelters and rescues if you're willing to wait. Wow, what a morning. So this is what I'm saying. You really have to stop going out and buying dogs, paying money for dogs, uh, paying these nasty backyard breeders. Don't look at people on Facebook. Don't look at people on social media who say, oh, I got a litter of puppies. Got a litter of puppies. Only $600 a piece. Don't do it. Don't do it. Let them, let them, you know, uh, no. You're just supporting them to keep on breeding out their dogs. Uh, and making more money off of you for no, and most of them are not purebred. Most of them are, you know, are lies, and they say, oh, it's this and this and this. Um, so yeah, so please, please go and do it from a shelter. Do not, uh, do not um, take part in backyard breeding of any kind. All right, that is what is going on today in the news. We are uh, on. Uh, today is November 20th, so we are getting set soon for the uh, expanded version of, or the new expansion for Dreamlight Valley in a few weeks. Can't wait. Can't wait to go. We're going to start off with the first show uh, at Red K's, uh, his valley. We're going to do a live from, Re or no, we're going to do a recorded video from Red K's. We're going to do the daily show, our first daily show from someone else's valley if it all goes well i mean there could be some glitches we don't know we're gonna try it though on um <clears throat> i guess we'll do it on december 6th that way um red k can get if he's gonna have i don't know if he's gonna have the game on december 5th you'll have to answer that red k if you're gonna have the game on december 5th and if you do then we'll set december the 6th for us to come in and do the daily show whatever day that's on if that's okay with you we'll plan it for december 6th all right, all right. Let's get to the trivia. Trivia question for today was, or for yesterday was, uh, what is the name of the polka group in Home Alone? And today's question is, the Wet Bandits. How did they get their name, the Wet Bandits? Why did, uh, why did Marv call the group the Wet Bandits, or you know why? Uh, how did they earn that name? There's a reason why. He said, we're the wet bandits. All right. Our first comment is from Deadly Demon Fur uh, Furry Werewolf. Says, uh, he started out, he or she started out with, how do I know where the rest of them are at? He's talking, he or she's talking about collect them all, the little green men. Uh, they were having a problem finding them. They, uh, he states, he or she states, I only got nine. I don't know where to find the rest. And I said, just wait, and they'll pop up randomly. And... Uh, he or she responded, at Grey Main Games, thank you. I did find more coming around randomly, and I'm checking up. All right, right on. Good for you. Really Glad you found them, my friend. Cool. And uh, they will all eventually show up, and you'll have all 25. It takes a few. Uh, Brenda McBride says, hi, Grey. Hello, Brenda. We have keywords, keywords. Hi, Grey. Hi, Grey. Keywords on Super Mario. We'll take care of those today, hopefully. Uh, keywords, keywords, uh, Brendan McBride says, hi, Gray and all, hello, 
Brenda McBride says the Kenosha Kickers is the name of the poker group. That is correct. Thank you. Um, Christy, uh, Christine Lynch says, is it the fifth dimension? Oh, we were talking about the song by the Commodores yesterday and Lionel Richie, uh, Easy Like Sunday Morning, because I'm easy. I love the, uh, uh, you know, the, like, um, the background singer, and they go, ah, 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 ah. I love the back, it's so soothing. Uh, when I actually put that song on after I got off here yesterday. I got, I, I, uh, I put that song on while I was editing, and I put on some Billy Idol. Oh, Billy Idol just brings back so many good vibes. He has so many good songs. Hot in the City, when I love that part when he's in Hot in, or in the video Hot in the City or the song, and he says, New York, yeah, Hot in the City. Exactly, and that's why it's going to be this weekend. I cannot wait for Thanksgiving. Uh, it's going to be great. But anyway, Billy Idol, Eyes Without a Face, Flash for Fantasy. I love all those songs. Hot in the City. Oh, if you haven't heard a Billy Idol sing, he, you're missing out on a great voice. He's kind of got that like that like um, gravelly, almost Elvis-sounding voice. Very smooth, but very rough at the same time. Just a beautiful voice on Billy Idol. And he still has it. He's like 70 years old now. I was just watching... Uh, yesterday some of his um uh his home videos and he's got two granddaughters and they're like young like two two and uh three years old and he's 60 like eight or nine years old now and he just loves his you know here we are this you know this bad boy of rock and roll and he has two granddaughters now he's so awesome it's a, such a great thing to see uh christine lynn says is it the fifth dimension no it was the commodores that's what it was Got a keyword. Christine Lynch says, looking forward to seeing other people's valley. I hope we can chat with each other that visit. Yeah, that'd be very cool. I hope we can, too. It'd be awesome. I mean, you guys don't have to use voice when I'm doing the daily show, but uh, I don't know how else we're going to be able to communicate. <laughs> but that's okay. Uh, Ian Gator. Hello, Ian. Ian says, good morning, Gray. Good morning to you, Ian. Uh, the name of the band is the Kenosha Kickers. Have a magical day, sir. You too. Thank you so much. Have a magical day, Ian. All right. Um, I have a... Uh, we're going to skip over that comment because... Uh, we'll talk about that in a second. <clears throat> uh, Pink Rose says, good morning. Trivia answer is Kenosha Kickers. I'm glad you forgot to silence your phone. Your ringtone is beautiful. Oh, thank you. What is it? I think it's Harry Potter, actually. Have a magical day. It is Harry Potter. It's the Harry Potter uh, ringtone. I absolutely love that music. Uh, I think it's John Williams. Maybe? Maybe? Maybe not. I don't remember who it is, actually. But beautiful music. And, uh, you know, I feel that Hogwarts Legacy got robbed out of the game awards because of politics and blah 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 but we're not talking about that i'm just saying it should have been included before super mario wonder uh because super mario wonder is just a rehash of all other super mario uh you know it, you know they add some flowers and say here do the side i mean i like super mario wonder but it's a rehash right it's the same game that you played you know 100 times before with super mario um uh but i think Hogwarts Legacy deserved a place before Super Mario Wonder did in the Game Awards. So that just tells you how biased these uh, these people are. You know, they can't they can't separate politics and all this stuff and controversy away from art and uh, you know art and creation and uh, and not have to deal. But I guess they just want to avoid controversy, and I get that. That's fine. That's their choice if they don't want to do it. I mean, I guess the people at Hogwarts Legacy probably expected that. <laughs> All right. Um, so, but I'm happy with what we have. I'm happy with Alan Way 2, which we're going to be exploring more of in the next few days. Uh, Baldur's Gate 3, I'm ecstatic about. I love Baldur's Gate 3. And, uh, yeah, it's an amazing game. Well worth a Game of the Year award. The others are, you know... Spider-Man, not so much. I mean, I, I, I love Spider-Man, but I don't think it's gonna it's worth Game of the Year. It's kind of a rehash of the first game. Zelda, kind of a rehash of all the other Zelda games. You're just, you know, yes, you're in, like, a larger world, but it's kind of the same thing that you saw 
in Breath of the Wild. It's kind of the same, you know. You have some different bosses thrown in there, but it's definitely not, uh, uh, you know, to me, not up to par as, uh, uh, as um, Baldur's Gate 3. Baldur's Gate 3 is unique. It's beautiful. It's engaging. It has a great story, and it has like 12. I forgot how many endings it had. Something like 12,000. I don't remember. I'm not gonna quote it exactly, but it's something up there, like thousands of different possible endings, but you know, all based on your choices. And I absolutely love that. So it's great. Uh, Holly Larson says the Kenosha Kickers was the group name with the Poker King of the Midwest, played by the late. John Candy. Yeah, John Candy was cool. I liked him. I liked him in planes, trains, and automobiles as well. But he's not one of my favorite actors, or wasn't. Uh, I don't like, you know, the, like, really, like, like over-the-top, silly kind of, like, actors like that. <laughs> not my kind of uh, jam, you know? Fiona w uh, Willicky, Willicky says, I feel the same way in terms or uh, we're, oh, we're talking about yesterday's show. I feel the same way in terms of control. I like playing games my way. Are you excited about the 8th update on December 5th? I totally am excited. I can't wait for it. Very much so I'm excited for December 5th. And yeah, I you know what? I, I really enjoy playing games the way that I want to play them. And that's what this channel's This channel was designed, as I said before, to help out animals and animal shelters. That's the main focus of this game is, you know, for me to be able to get the word out. It's my way of doing two things I love, two things I'm passionate about, and that's uh, helping animals, trying to, uh, you know, help empty shelters. At this time now, it's really important. And also play, you know, play games and just have fun. Have fun playing games and exploring. And when, you know, when... When people try to divert you from that and try to say, do this, do that, do this, do that. No, you. I spent my money on this game. I'm going to play it the way that I see that I want to. And I'm going to put, I'm going to, you know, make it part of my content or of my content. I'm going to, you know, throw a contest in there. And if you want to watch it, fine. If you don't, that's fine too. There's plenty of other uh, YouTube channels you can be watching. Yeah, if you don't like what I do, if you don't agree with what I do, then move along. Go find something else to watch. I'm not forcing you to watch my channel. I'm just going to throw it out there, right? I'm just going to throw it out there. And if you watch it, you watch it. If you don't, you don't. But I'm out there trying to help animals. I'm out there trying. To, I'm giving away money. You know, I mean, what kind of crazy person am I? <laughs> I'm handing out free money. Uh, so that's the, you know, that's the end all be all. I'm not going to discuss that anymore. Uh, that's what this channel's about. And if you like it, fine, hang around and let's have some fun. Let's, you know, let's have contests, you know, I'll keep paying out some money. Let's keep doing that. And, uh, if you don't like it and you have problems with it, then just move along. Go watch someone else. Simple as that. All right. I'm about as honest as I can be with that. Uh, you know, I'm not forcing you to watch my videos uh i'm just saying that i'm gonna do it my way this is the gray main gaming channel it's not anyone else you know this is my name's on it i'm gonna play it the way i play it and uh it might not be correct it might be the wrong way i might i'll probably screw up but whatever i'm just doing it as i would as if a person was sitting here in the room next to me i'm gonna play it as if my friends are sitting in the room and uh that's it and if any of them try to you know i'll say shut up i don't want to i don't want your input let me play my game i bought the game let me play it and i'm not gonna cheat no cheats you know what <clears throat> the one thing that uh that uh i wanted to say is that i don't care if you cheat okay you can it's, there's nothing wrong with it if that's how you want to put your value into your game by beating it through using a cheat or using someone else's method, that's that's fine. I I'm you can cheat all you want, but I'm gonna get the value out of my game that I paid for. I'm gonna get I'm I want the value. I want the challenge. I want to be the problem solver. I've taught my children, and I, you know what? I want my children to be problem solvers. I don't want them to have to turn to other people to solve their problems for them. That means when I started them out in video games, my son especially, he's been playing games since he was, you know, three years old. Uh, when I 
uh, you know, when he asked to cheat in a game, I say no, no. I want you to be a problem solver. I don't want you to give up and go have someone else solve your problems for you. It's a lesson in life. It's a lesson in life that, and they have become better problem solvers. People who turn uh, to other people to solve their problems, they do that the rest of their lives. They ask their mommy and their daddy for money and uh, solve my problem, mommy, solve my problem, daddy. You know, my kid, I would not do that. I'm not going to set my kids up for failure when it comes to that, and that includes video games. When I drop 70, 80 bucks on a video game, you better darn well play that game and not, you know, slide your way through it on cheats because it's not helping you. It's like, you know, it's like taking a class and asking your neighbor for all the you know for all the cheats you know for all the answers to the test why bother taking the class you're not learning anything all right so i don't allow cheat codes i don't allow cheats on my channel i've had a few people that have tried to put up cheats on here and say you can do this no not allowed no no you earn you have to earn what you get and cheat codes it's just an easy way to flub through things. And if that's what you want to do with your game, I have no problem with that. But don't tell me to do it on my channel, on my games, because it will never happen. I, will, I would not allow my children to cheat. I want them to be problem solvers and not have to turn to other people to solve their issues. And it's worked. My children are wonderful when it comes to problem solving. They're independent. And that's the way, and that, I mean, that's not just because of video games, of course, it's, you know, other things, but uh, it's a lesson in life, and I will never cheat. I will never cheat in games. I don't care how hard they are. I am here to solve the problem. I don't want to turn to someone village. else. I don't want to see how someone else has done it. I want to figure it out myself. It's an accomplishment. It's a feat. It's, uh, you know, that's exactly the way that it should be. That's what games are meant to be. They're not meant... Uh, to say, oh, here, put in a code and, you know, go into God mode and now, you know, you can't be killed. No, 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 no. Not going to happen. So, thank you so much, Fiona Welicky. I hope I got that right. <laughs> All right. All right. We got, uh, let's see. Cookie Coco says, hey, hey, Gray, the Commodore saying, easy like Sunday morning. Ah, oh, easy like Sunday morning. Uh, I was dying laughing as you were singing and talking your way through it. Good stuff. Now I have to play it since it is Sunday. I love that song. I played it yesterday too. Um, Cookie Coco says, yes, great. Preach. I'm all about having fun. Yes, fun is exactly it. Not only do you learn how to play and problem solve with games, you have fun. And if if it's not fun anymore... And if people aren't are trying to ruin your fun, then you have to just kind of get rid of that. You have to get rid of that, which is why I'm not going to allow any more comments. Uh, there are some people that just want to be argumentative about things. They just want to keep the conversation open. They want to keep the argument going about things. And I am going to delete those comments. So if you find that your comment's been deleted and you've included a trivia answer in that comment, your comment will be deleted, but I will count your trivia answer. If you want to know... If your trivia answer has been counted, read the description of the video that uh, that the trivia answer was read in. So say you have a trivia answer that you answered today. You answered the my, Kenosha my. Kickers. You just don't know when to quit, do you? I don't. I don't. <laughs> I think that's a sign right there. Uh, if you answered the Kenosha Kickers and your comment was removed because you're argumentative, because I'm going to remove comments that are going to that try to keep this, uh, you know, this this uh, dialogue going about cheating and anything else that was that has to do with uh, all this stuff. I'm going to remove the comments because I'm not going to I'm going to act like I do with my kids. You know, I have you know, uh, when my kids used to come at me with an argument, I would just end the argument by not responding to them and saying this, you know, this is over. This argument is over. We're not talking about it anymore. I've made my decision. No more. Don't talk about it. So that's the way that I'm going to treat some of the comments on here. No more. If you comment on it, on cheating, if you comment on this, I'm going to delete your comments. And if you have a, a trivia answer in it, the trivia answer will be in the description of the video. So if you did Kenosha Kickers, your name will be in the description, even though your comment isn't there anymore. And I will mark it down that your comment was deleted because you're being argumentative. So that's not going to happen. That's not what this channel's about, guys. We're supposed to be having fun. 
All right, let me run my channel the way I run it. And as I said before, if that's not, if you don't like the way that I run it, then just go watch someone else. There's so many people out there that are doing the same videos, not the same kind of videos, but uh, you know, you're not going to get the same kind of people. But you know, watch them. I mean, I'm not. It won't. I won't at all offend me. I don't make money off this channel. I'm not out to take your money. Blah blah blah. I'm actually giving you money. So. Uh, but otherwise, uh, if you want to have fun and hang out and do adventures and stuff, fine. But please, no more. No more argumentative stuff because it's just going to get deleted. Uh, I hate to say that. I hate that it's come to this. But please, let me run my channel. It's got gray mane on the top. It's going to remain that way. <laughs> All right. Thank you. Um, what else do we have here? Cookie Coco says... Uh, it's all about having fun. And those content creators that copy each other's are la so lame and boring. There are three creators right now. When they post a video about Dreamlight Valley, I watch one video. I don't even watch the other two because it's the exact same video. Same opinion. They even use the same dialogue. Ugh, it's disgusting. That's because they watch one another. And that's how they get content. Some people will go out and they will watch uh, another content creator and they will copy them. Uh, I found so many of uh, of my videos, so many of my like recipes and stuff, online with this. Uh, I forgot the name of the, but if you search if you search some of my recipes, this one web page has copied all the pictures from my videos, I, and I think I mentioned this when it happened, uh, and put them on their web page, <laughs> word for word. So yeah, yeah, there you go. I mean. That's the way it is. I don't even watch the other two because it is the exact same video, same opinion. They even use the same dialogue. Ugh, it's disgusting. Kudos to you for being original. Well, thank you. You know what? And that's because they're just out to make money. They don't care about talking to their fans. They don't care about, you know, what's accurate, what's not accurate. They don't care about anything. They only care about their pockets, lining their pockets with your money. And uh, that's all they care about. They're going to ask you for donations. Oh, donate here. You guys notice I've never asked you for any donation. I give you guys money. How many channels do that? How many channels don't ask for any donation, don't ask for any kind of support, and get, actually give you money? How many? There's not many of them that do it. I can guarantee you that. They want your money. They don't give a rat's, you know, butt about you at all uh and they'll copy each other just because they want to grab your cash apparently the hardest thing that any of us can do is be ourselves you can be uh, listen be yourself all right but allow me to be myself and allow my channel to be what it is that's all i'm asking i don't you know if you guys cheat if you guys whatever you want to do uh, do it fine the way you want to play your game fine that's fine with me, but please don't try to influence me or try to tell me what to do in my game or on my channel because I'm just not, I'm going to resist it, obviously. I'm very set in my ways. Very, 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 very set in my ways. And you're not going to convince me. I'd rather block you or get rid of you before I change my, you know, my values, my morals, the way, and I, you know, I don't want to do that either. But the point being is if you persist, and there are people that just want to argue for argument's sake. And really, you know, they need to really, yeah, they need to step back a little bit. <laughs> so, yeah, that's just the way it is. I know, it's one of those weeks. I mean, this is supposed to be Thanksgiving week, and we're talking about this. I hate talking about this kind of stuff, but the point had to be made because, uh, you know, I have to run my channel. Um, Cookie Coco says, now, wait a minute, Gray, you are stepping on my toes now. I live for a cheat code and a walkthrough. Well, that's fine, and that's good. If you that's what you want to do, that's okay. I'm not saying that you can't do that. I'm saying just don't try to get me to do it. I, you know, whatever whatever floats your boat, that's fine with me. I'm happy for you if it makes you happy. If it makes, you know, if it makes it easier for you, then I'm all for that. But please, I, I'm just I'm not asking you to stop cheating. I'm not asking you to stop using walkthroughs. I'm asking. The, and it's not even you, Cookie Coco, but I'm asking the you know the people that come in here and try to tell me what to do, and try to say I do it better, this and that, try to uh, say you know you need to use a walkthrough, you need to do cheats, you need, no, I don't need to do that. Stop telling me that uh, because I never will. I'm a, I'm about as raw as you can get. I'm about as 
raw as you can get. I'm going to play the game raw. I'm going to make stupid mistakes, but I'm laughing. I'm having fun. Why do you want to change that? Don't try to change my game. Go play your game your way. Because it ticks me off. It's like, you know, it's like that weird cousin that you have sitting next to you and they're like, mm, great, let me have your controller. I'll show you how to get to it. No, leave me the heck alone. Go away. Go have a Coke and have a smile or something. Let's leave me be. <laughs> you know, when you get into your game, you can play it. That's fine, but leave me be. And that's what I how I feel. Uh, Bugs Bunny taught me when I was a little girl, if you can't beat them, cheat them. <laughs> That's a good reference, but yeah. But you can beat them. You just have to have persistence, and that's what I'm saying. I mean, this is what games teach me. Yeah, and I've been playing games since I was a really young kid. And persistence uh, and, you know, learning how to do things, and um, that's what I love about games. That's what I love about them. It's not the idea. I, I don't want to be able to... It's not an accomplishment to put in a cheat code to beat something. It's not an accomplishment. It's not. It's a clerical type thing, right? It's not an accomplishment. You're not accomplishing anything. You're not improving. You're just cheating. Right? It's not an accomplishment. And I, I, I like accomplishments. I like victories. I like control. I like to say, I beat this creature. I mean, if you want to do a trial, go play... Dark Souls. Go play. Sorry, I had to cough, but because uh, I'm getting too too wound up here with you guys. Uh, go play the game Dark Souls, one of the hardest games ever created. And I beat that game on my own, no cheats, no walkthroughs. I figured it out because that's what I like. That's what games are about. I don't know why we're on this again. I swear to God, I said I wasn't going to come here again because. I don't need to really explain all this. This is just how my channel is. Um, Cookie Coco says, Gray, we are sorry. Nothing to be sorry about. Uh, we are going to act right on the gaming videos from now on, and we would love a live of Mario RPG. It's not about acting right. I don't care. Listen, you guys can do whatever you want. Just please, I mean, act the way that you want. Act normally. Just don't tell me how do I, sh I should act. Don't tell me how I should play a game. Don't try to be a backseat gamer with me. Uh, don't tell me to cheat. Don't tell me to go find a walkthrough, this and that. No, I'm refusing you. And if you keep, you know, yeah, I'm refusing. And comments that are related to anything about that will be removed. Okay, so this is the last time I'm going to have, have this discussion about it. You guys know how I feel. You guys know that I'm just, I'm a pure gamer, pure gamer. I don't want cheats. I don't want anything like that. I just want to play the game and figure it out myself. And if I and I'm going to record a video to go through it. And if I mess up, I'm going to mess up. If it's a good laugh, it's a good laugh. But it's pure. It's honest. And that's the way it's going to be. That's just the way it's going to be. All right. I hate to be a you know like a dick about it, but it is what it is. <laughs> Uh, Neptune Mama says, wow. good afternoon. Trivia answers the Kenosha Kickers. Have a great day. Yes, thank you. Neo Jet says, the Kenosha Kickers. Yes, that is uh, correct. Thank you. Uh, Brenda McBride says, good evening, Greg. Good evening. We've got to get off this because I'm really, it's like, uh, it's killing my voice. Uh, all right, we have one more. Uh, we only have one more comment anyway. The answer is Kenosha Kickers. Okay. Oh, okay. I grew up my... Pumpkins for money also, says Cindy Creeble. And yes, that is the correct answer. Thank you, Cindy. All right, that's going to do it for today's questions. Let us go up to the store and check it out. Boy, it's just, I'm kind of glad to get off this subject now. <laughs> My voice is like shot. All right, hopefully that, that closes that. That whole subject for everyone, you know. I'm listen. Play your games the way you want. Play your game. And I'm emphasizing the word your. Play your games the way you want. All right. When you're on my channel, um, you can laugh, you can whatever, but just don't, you know, don't be um, don't be cousin Melvin. I don't know. I don't have a cousin Melvin, but we'll call. Don't be cousin Melvin. All right. That's gonna be the new phrase on here. Don't be cousin Melvin. You know, he's the one that that is sitting next to you on on the sofa you know playing the atari uh and trying to tell you exactly how things should be done right and so don't be cousin melvin 
because Cousin Melvin, you know, I would lock him out of my room whenever he came over. I, I don't have a Cousin Melvin, but we're going to call him Cousin Melvin anyway. Oh, I'm hitting the wrong thing. See what I mean? I make stupid mistakes. <laughs> All right, so let's just use that for now. Don't be Cousin Melvin. And, we'll, and all will be good. <laughs> I mean, I don't mind, like, the simple, like, oh, no, great, you got to do this. But I don't want to hear, like, you should be, you should be, you know. I don't mind the, the occasional, uh, you know, like, tip. Like, sometimes I get people, like, uh, you know, like... Um, Red Cat will say you should have hit the triangle when when you were opening up that menu. That's fine. I don't mind those tips, okay? Just but there are people who say, oh, you need to do this. You need to do it this way. This is the way out. I would, you know, I don't care. Seriously, I just want to play my games and have fun and save animals. Number one, save animals. So don't be cousin Melvin. <laughs> All right, we're off that soapbox. Oh, it's just so taxing. I feel like I'm worn out now after this show. All right, let's go to the uh, store, everyone. <laughs> oh, everyone's sitting there now. Gray, you're such a ass. You know what I? You know what? You remember what I said the other day about how everyone? I must have a nice butt because every time I walk away, people are whispering, "What an ass!" Yeah, people are saying that about me right now. Gray. What an ass. <laughs> uh, 3,000 for the black bucks. What's a lot of cannolis? Great. What an ass. <laughs> Thank you kindly. I'm sorry, but you know what? I'm only going to speak what I feel is the truth. Uh -huh. uh, <laughs> pale pink cottage dress. <laughs> oh, Thank man. Thank you kindly. Uh, 750 for these uh, white and pink Mickey sneakers. Okay, we'll take them. Whoa! Ho, ho, ho. Whoa! Ho, 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 ho. Backpack, no thank you. We got gloves here for 1500 Long red fingerless gloves. Okay. Uh, nah, no thanks. Good necklace, night, uh, I don't need a necklace. Uh, what is this? 600 uh -huh. for the comfy red hoodie. Uh, okay. We'll take it. Well, hey. bye -bye. Don't need shorts. Don't need skirts. Uh, we have this, um... Uh -huh. Silver trimmed diamond tile wallpaper. We'll take it. Should always Whoa, get hey. stuff for walls. All right. We have 480 for huh? the wooden wardrobe. Okay. Whoa. Hey. Whoa. Goodbye now. I have Goodbye. that chair and I believe I have that end table. Yes, I do. All right. Got it. Got it. Got it. Got it. Okay. Got all this stuff. Little bed I've got. It's a cute little bed. Uh, we got that, we got that, I think we got everything up here, we got this, okay, we're done. That is all for Scrooge's Daily Inventory, everyone. Today is Monday, I hope the rest of your day is magical, you know, skip all the stuff that, don't, you know, don't let anything I say get too much under your skin, if at all, because it's just me, you know, trying to, uh, re, you know, like reset the what how people think about my channel and what you you know what the channel is about we're losing focus on the animals and concentrating more on uh, how I play a stupid game and you know I love games but I'm not going to put that much emphasis into them they're not that important uh, we're losing the fact of what is important here and that is saving animals that is ending animal cruelty. That is helping out your local community. It's not, not just animals. It's about being a positive influence in your community. Okay? That's what we're talking about. Let's not lose that focus. So that is the end of the show today. I hope you all have a magical day. Take some of that magic. Spread it to your friends, your family, your pets. Everyone that you run into, wish them a magical Jedi Mind Trick Friday. Uh, yeah, go out and tell someone that. Happy Jedi Mind Trick Fridays. And, you know, like, wave your hand in front of them when you go to the gas station. Wave your hand. Happy Jedi Mind Trick Friday. Today is Friday. And see what they say. And, that, you know, maybe you'll make someone laugh. Maybe you'll make a friend. And that starts something new, right? That starts a new friendship. And that, you know, and it makes someone happy. It makes you happy. So try it. 
Go somewhere. At least one person. Tell me that you went out there today and you waved your hand and said, Happy, Mi or, Happy Jedi Mind Trick Friday to someone and made them laugh. They'll ask you what it's about. Tell them. That would make their day. It's going to make your day. It's going to make my day if you do it. <laughs> All right. Uh, so, yeah, spread some of that magic. Have a beautiful Monday, everyone. And I will see you again on The Daily Show tomorrow. Remember, there's no Daily Show this Thursday or Friday. But I am going to be putting up pre-recorded videos that I'm going to probably, you know, do throughout the week. I have a, uh, a gray day coming up with my one of my Lego rooms. My most packed Lego room, the one that I have a lot of my investments in. I'm going to show you that room, and I'm going to show you uh, one of the tables that I'm that I am doing a uh, video on for the Lego channel. I'm just waiting for some stuff to come in from UPS, and we're going to do the gray day video. Maybe a little shot of Django in there. Uh, we're getting a lot of snow on Wednesday, and so I've got to we're going to be traveling, so I've got to leave early. But I'm going to try to get that out by Wednesday. Hopefully, I get UPS here by Wednesday uh, with the new Lego stuff. I ordered the Home Alone house. And I am so stoked to be getting that. Ah, oh, I can't wait. Uh, that's coming in. And maybe we'll get a shot of Django in the snow because uh, he just, he's, he's, he's becoming a really good boy. He's, you know, he's calming down on his biting. And so it's great. Anyway, we'll do all that this week before the holiday. And I will see you in future videos.